We are minutes away from the White House Correspondence Center. That is the annual black tie extravaganza, also known as Nerd Prom in Washington, D.C. It lets the press and the president poke fun at each other. This is a camera there on the red carpet as the arrivals come in. And this is a camera inside the banquet room. Thousands will gather at the Washington Hilton tonight, but only after being vetted on an app in which they'll have to show their vaccination history and a same-day negative COVID test. But the dynamic of mixing humor and politics hasn't changed. Capitol Hill's night of glitz and glamour is back. The White House Correspondents' Dinner returns for the first time in three years after two straight COVID cancellations. The country's most recognizable politicians, journalists, and celebrities grabbing their bow ties, high heels, and vaccination cards, ahead of what organizers are hoping will be a return to normal. The annual event has been held since the 1920s. Organizers say it's meant to celebrate the First Amendment and bridge the gap between press and president, but it's perhaps best known as a free for all for anyone and everyone to roast the commander in chief. From George W. Bush's body double in 2006. The media really ticks me off. <laughs> the way they try to embarrass me by not editing what I say. To Bill Clinton's final farewell in 2000, complete with a short film showing the president as a lonely lame duck. B9. You suck my battleship. But the presidents get their turn too. Yes. Taking aim at the press corps that covers them. I understand ABC's having some budget problems. The news division has already laid off three hairstylists. <laughs> Headlining the guest list this year, The Daily Show's Trevor Noah. But the one guest everyone hopes misses the party. COVID-19. A different D.C. event, the Gridiron Dinner earlier this month, was linked to more than 70 positive COVID cases despite proof of vaccination required at the door. Guests at this weekend's Correspondence Dinner will not only need a vaccination card, but also a same-day negative rapid test. But Saturday night's dinner, just one event in a jam-packed weekend of crowded parties. Health experts fear the dinner could devolve into another super spreader event, despite Dr. Fauci declaring this week. We are certainly right now in this country out of the pandemic phase. The country's leading infectious disease expert pulling out of this year's dinner as COVID cases climb. Even President Biden planning to leave before dinner out of an abundance of caution. Vice President Harris quarantining at home after testing positive earlier this week. But organizers are hoping even a brief appearance from the commander in chief will usher in a return to business as usual after President Trump boycotted the event for the duration of his term. President Biden will become the first sitting president to attend the dinner since 2016. The so-called nerd prom, a mix of politics and journalism for better or for worse. And we will be broadcasting President Biden's and Trevor Noah's speeches as soon as they take the stage live. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.